In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a basic Pong game. So we will go ahead and create a new project. And I'll call it Roy Basic Pong. Now, the two main components in a basic Pong game is a ball that bounces around the screen and a paddle usually placed towards the bottom of the screen which hits the ball and make it go back and the objective is to keep the ball from touching the bottom of the screen. So as before, first we will drag a canvas to our screen and we will set the width of the canvas to fill the parent so that it spans across the entire width of the screen and we will set the height. This time we will specify the height to be 390 pixels. Now in this canvas, I will add a ball sprite. Now when you initially add a ball, it's really small, so I'll go ahead and change this radius to 25. So that will make it a little bigger. We will additionally add an image sprite corresponding to the paddle, and we will place it somewhere towards the bottom of this canvas. Not all the way to the bottom, but somewhere close to the bottom. So, I'll now go ahead and rename the ball. I'll just rename it simply ball. And I'll rename this image sprite to simply paddle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the picture of this paddle. I'm going to click on the picture when paddle is selected. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to browse for the paddle picture which I have already downloaded. And I'll set the paddle with its proper picture. We're also going to add a button. So I'm going to go to the palette on the left hand side, drag a button all the way down here and I'm going to change the text of the button to start. So now the main goal will be position the ball somewhere towards the center of the screen and when we hit the start button the ball starts moving around the screen and then with, when it comes towards the bottom of the screen the paddle should be moved to hit the ball and the ball will go in the reverse direction. So now we will go to the block editor and we will start writing the program corresponding to this. Before that I'll quickly rename the start the button one to start button so that we know what all these components are readily. So I'm going to change that name and now I'm going to go ahead and open my block editor.